Janelle being Jamaican and having trained in MVP, I've been getting the drama from Jamaica in camps for at least five. This did not come across well to many. Jamaican sprinter Janelle Bromfield has recently spoken out about the intense abuse she's faced online following her relationship with American sprinter Noah Lyles. Despite all the noise, the Star Olympic couple try to be each other's support amidst the chaos. The relationship between the American and Jamaican, known to be fierce rivals in track and field, continues to thrive. Okay. One thing about my boyfriend, he go always open the door. Sure right, baby? Right. <laughs> That's just a little peek at what their relationship looks like. As most of you are aware, Noah Lyles' Jamaican girlfriend, Junal Bromfield, has been through the thick of cyberbullying recently. While multiple reasons added to the hate train, it first escalated when Lyles aired a statement on the Track World News podcast. Yeah. I have been getting the drama from Jamaican camps for at least five years now, were the words that proved detrimental to Bromfield's reputation. In a later statement, the Jamaican clarified that she understands how passionate Jamaicans are about the sport. But perhaps a particular line of the larger clip spiraled into this huge controversy. I have seen the clips that have been circulating, and for people who did not go and watch the full footage, I see why they would be mad. Junal said that the whole statement was blown out of proportion. Still, she tried to understand her people. I could say I understand now why they were mad, because celebrities were talking about it and they did not go and watch the actual footage of what was said," she said. Notably, the key bits that had riled up Jamaican fans included Noah Lyles, mentioning Junel training in MVP, and then adding how he knows a lot of information that others don't. Although he did not really touch upon Shellyann Fraser-Price, Lyles did bring up Elaine Thompson-Hara talking about how she and Junel used to be joined at the hip when they trained together in 2021. Lyles also mentioned how his girlfriend is still very close with Sharika Jackson. As is becoming normal, the video that went viral did not include all these other discussion brackets from the podcast. It's about Lyles citing he has the Jamaican insights, which got Junel labeled as a traitor. Mind you, she wouldn't even have known about it if a friend had not urged her to check X. After reading something about how she is a Judas because she's telling Noah all of Jamaica's business, she woke Noah and asked him what exactly he said on the podcast. Noah said that he didn't say anything bad on the podcast about anybody, so Junelle watched it herself and thought that it was all going to blow over. At the time, she was convinced. And in the time, Noah was like, he was asking what he could do, and he apologized because I was like, it's a difference in culture. And some people might take it away, but mm -hmm. it will blow over because that's what I thought personally. Because he asked you, he said, how do I fix this, babe? And you said... It will blow over because <laughs> to me... It's going to blow over. He didn't say anything bad about anybody, so I was like, it's going to blow over, but it did not. Sadly, though, that's not the end of it. As if receiving hateful comments was not hurtful enough, she also started to receive death threats, which led her to question the dignity of her people. I had to turn off my inbox because I was getting death threats from people. I had Jamaicans in my inbox saying that they wish my foot. Instead of receiving support when she competed for her country in Paris, people wish Junelle would get an injury instead. That's not the worst of it. If I come home, they're going to basically kill me. So I didn't feel like it was the right time, even though I wanted to go back to see my family to Mind you, this interview, which should have happened on her home soil, was shot in the U.S. instead as Junelle feared going home. In an Instagram post by Simone Clark, she shared that she offered to fly Junelle home to come sit with her for Sim Soul sessions because she thought the athlete needed to have her say. Her response hurt my heart, Simone wrote. She wanted to accept the invitation, but she was afraid to come home. So, determined to get the young woman's side of the story, Clark agreed to meet Junelle, where she feels comfortable and safe. Prior to the interview, the Jamaican athlete already expressed her feelings in an Instagram post. With the detestable comments still lingering, Bromfield penned an emotional message on her Instagram page, detailing how she has been insulted from a young age, and now facing cyberbullying from Jamaicans. I grew up hearing black is not beautiful. 
your hair is dry, your mouth is too big, your forehead too high, and when you throw all those insults behind you and start walking with confidence, the best compliment you get is you're pretty for a black girl. She said in her post, referring to the racial abuse she has faced. She also came for colorist Jamaicans, posting several hateful comments she had received in the past weeks. I honestly thought we were past colorism in Jamaica, especially as a nation that is filled with black people. I have been getting cyberbullied for weeks, is what? And when it gets talked about, I'm a liar because no Jamaican was coming for my features. She added, she continued to say that while she could go off ranting, she instead chooses to tell all the women on her profile that you're beautiful no matter your shade, shape, or size. And for the little black girls, don't wait on anybody to tell you that you're beautiful to believe it. Days before that, her boyfriend, Noah Lyles, penned a lengthy message to her, expressing his pride and love for Junelle. I just want to say how incredibly proud I am of my GF, he began. The most impressive thing I've seen recently is how she's dealt with the pure disrespect and hatred towards her from her own country. This woman has been attacked by people who have never met her, heard her name before, never seen her smile, or heard what she believes in. But she keeps moving forward, knowing that God will always make a way. That's why God keeps blessing her. When asked if he felt responsible for the hate Junelle got, Lyle said that he didn't go into the interview with ill intent. He did mention that people take things but the first thing that I want to make sure is that you know Janelle is okay with everything because that's whose opinions I care about you know this that makes sense right after all and I hope to continue to live with <laughs> for many years and you know that if people thought at the time that Lyles was hinting at something they would have been right just a few days ago sprint Olympians Noah Lyles and Juno Bromfield announced their engagement the Olympic champion proposed in a romantic evening that was captured in a video and revealed on social media. The couple, who have been dating for nearly two years, shared news of their engagement on their social media platforms. The Jamaican runner wore a glittery silver dress and heels for the occasion, while Lyles sported a black suit with a gold accent on the pants as their friends and family cheered them on. The pair were seen enjoying a romantic evening shared with some of the family and friends. The Olympic men's 100-meter gold medalist from the USA led his Jamaican girlfriend, a bronze medalist from the Tokyo 2020 Olympics in 2021, to an outdoor area where their small party of friends stood beside a lit-up sign that read, Will you marry me? The American star then dropped down on one knee as he held out a ring that was warmly received by Bromfield, who then showed off her engagement ring. The video was captioned, to my future wife, I will love you forever. Junelle herself posted a video with her friends with the caption, Engaged. Lyles previously revealed that he and Bromfield met on social media in 2017, but their first date didn't go so well, and they decided to remain friends. That is, until 2022, when Lyles decided to give romance another shot and asked Bromfield out again. Since then, the pair have been inseparable. We're going to grow old together, and it's going to be forever," Lyles was noted saying. Unsurprisingly, when news of the couple's engagement broke, praises and congratulations for the track couple, who both competed at the Paris 2024 Olympics, have been coming in from around the world. Here's what other athletes are up to.